white privilege is affecting the gun control debate and no one's really talking about it. The last time we were together, we talked about the many ways in which race is affecting the conversation on gun control right now in this country. And lots of you were engaged in the conversation, but some people had real questions. Why are you bringing up race? That has nothing to do with it. White privilege isn't a factor here. White privilege doesn't even exist. Well, let's break it down. White privilege is walking out of your school in protest of gun violence and not being met with any consequences. White privilege is staging a walkout for gun control and having colleges and universities say that you will not be punished and your admission won't be changed when the same was not happening for Ferguson and Baltimore school walkouts. White privilege is being able to open carry without fear of retaliation. White privilege is the knowledge that your race will never add any additional weight to what you have to carry around all day. White privilege is not a curse word. It's not a way to blame or shame anyone. It's a lens to understand how race works in this country, where white people are the default and everyone else has to adjust. There are some statistical realities that help us know that race actually does play a role in many more things than we'd actually feel comfortable admitting. We know that white high school dropouts have more wealth than black college graduates. We know that black boys who were raised by millionaires have the same likelihood of being incarcerated as white boys who were raised in a household of $36,000 a year. We know that black and brown children are far more likely to be suspended in school than white children are. But maybe none of these statistical facts matter to you. Maybe you're still feeling like white privilege is a figment of our imagination. But think about this. Do you ever sit in a business meeting and worry about how you say what you say because you're afraid of being called the angry black woman? Or wonder when you're in class if the professor is even going to call on you because of who you are and where you come from? If you don't have to expend this additional cognitive energy, then that is what we call having white privilege. So you understand white privilege, but you feel guilty about it. Here's my challenge. Guilt doesn't help change the world, but you using your privilege does. Use your privilege to amplify and center other voices that often go unheard. Use your privilege to talk to other people just like you about all of the ways in which race functions that they don't see every day. We have to use our white privilege now to make sure that all of the voices that have, all of the people that have died as a result of this and haven't been covered the same can now be heard. Talk about the ways in which nearly every issue is actually racialized and don't be ashamed of it. Educate people and help them understand that different issues affect different races of people different ways. When we understand it, we can do something about it.